Today, I'm gonna to show you how to flip your axles without welding and without losing your trailer. Let me show you how. Now, you might be wondering, why can't I just flip my axle over and reuse the axle seats? Well, on this trailer, I've done exactly that. You can see, I've now put the springs on top of there, reused the spring seat. Looks pretty good, right? Well, actually not. Might be tough to tell, but that axle's bent. You see that little bow in the axle? That's called the camber. And that actually makes the tires not quite square to the, the road. They're just a few degrees off. And those axles are cambered just so that when the trailer is taking load, that the wheels is square up to the road. Put my square flush against the bottom. It's out round about, I have to say about a half inch by the top of the wheel. And that means the inside of the wheel is gonna wear faster than the outside. This is called negative camber. It can also cause problems steering and handling on the road. So you definitely wanna fix this by flipping the axles right. Over now, usually what people will do is they'll just take the axle and they'll weld on a new spring seat underneath and rotate the axle 180 degrees from where it is right now. And that'll put the bow in the right position. The bow should be pointing up instead of down as it is. What I'm gonna do instead of welding is I'm gonna make a little setup here, use the new spring seat, some new bolts, and it's gonna hold the axle securely, even without welding. Now, if you can weld, you should. It's the safest thing to do. It doesn't cost all that much money, but there's a lot of you out there who don't wanna do welding, wanna do it all yourself. And for those of you out there, this is the video for you. We're gonna show you how. To complete this project, all you're gonna need is four new square U-bolts that are one and three quarters inch wide by five inches long, three eighths inch thick. And these U-bolts can be a little bit hard to find, so I actually have them custom bent uh, at a place for five bucks each. You're gonna need a couple of spring seats right there. You can buy those online at any or at any trailer dealer. We also need some spring tie plates. That's the galvanized piece of steel right there. A couple of bolts and some washers and some lock nuts. That's all you're gonna need to complete this project. Let's see how it works. The first step is gonna be to put the trailer up on blocks so that I can take the axle off. For the next step, we remove the U-bolts. With the U-bolts removed, now we can loosen the bolt that holds on the leaf spring and drop the axle. The axle bolt was in there really securely, so I had to get out my hammer again and bang it out the rest of the way. Now both axles are free of the leaf springs. As you can see, there's nothing holding on the axle. Now what we're gonna wind up doing is taking that leaf spring, putting it back up under there and connecting back up the axle. As you can see, flipping the axle has really jacked up the trailer. In fact, I need to raise the trailer a bit to be able to get the axle to fit back on. That's going to be an advantage so that I can precisely fit it and I don't have to lift the axle so much. For the first step, you're going to want to make up your tie plate to put that one inch bolt right through its center with a couple of the washers and a lock nut at the end. This is going to create a little nub that's going to fit right into the hole of your spring seat, just like that. And that's going to help keep the U-bolts and the tie centered on the axle. And when it's done, it should look just like that. You don't have to be too fussy about getting it on center, but the closer you are to center, the easier of a time you're going to have it later when you try to put it on. And as you can see, that little nub is going to fit securely right in to the axle seat. So that's a 3 8 inch bolt, 3 8 lock nut. 
some nice nice beefy washers and off you go now we're gonna flip so now that i've got the axle off and rotated i'm gonna be able to put on the new perch right on top here i've got this plate made up i've got the bolt through here and these u-bolts that will go right around the axle that's all going to come right up in the middle with that perch right there centered into this hole and then these guys through the tie plate now i need to lower the jack just a little bit to be able to make that happen so here we have the finished product we got the wheel much more square to the ground because now the axle is bowed the right way. And then under here, it's like I've got my own little over under axle kit. They sell these for two and three eighths axle and other size axles from Dexter, but not the one and three quarter inch axles that you find in most utility trailers. So in this video, we've made our own. That way you can have your axle flip safely with no welding. And now, whereas before I had about two inches of clearance, now I got six. So I've lifted up about four inches and this guy shouldn't scrape anymore in my sloped driveway. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.